This is the remnant of the slave trade in South Africa that existed from 1653 in the Dutch Cape Colony until the abolition of slavery in 1834. The Castle of Good Hope, which is one of South Africa's oldest colonial buildings, still bears the scars of that period when it was a pivotal point in the Dutch slave trade. Today, things have changed and the apology by the Dutch government for its role in slavery has been warmly welcomed by some. It is heartwarming to know that the Dutch Prime Minister uh, officially apologized and also indicated that they want to engage the former colonies in terms of looking at uh, restitution and reparation. So from that point of view, we are extremely uh, you know, pleasantly uh, excited about this movement, but if it's not followed by tangible you know, improvements in the, in the lives of the descendants of the enslaved people, then it would still remain an empty, you know, promise or an empty gesture. As part of the Dutch apology for its role in slavery, the government of Netherlands has set aside more than $200 million to raise awareness about the legacy of slavery. Some experts, however, believe extensive engagement needs to take place with the former Dutch colonies and the descendants of slaves first. I think that the widespread consultation mechanisms such as the Truth and Reconciliation Commission are possible uh, trajectories for the Dutch government to follow and certainly discussing it with the diaspora of the uh, slave descendants in the Netherlands itself as well as in Suriname and the other Dutch colonies would be a, a way to go. Also, of course, Indonesia which was the Dutch's biggest colony before independence in 1945, is another country to be consulted. For now, history has been made in the form of that apology, and the former Dutch colonies can expect more details about the fund and who exactly may access it. The Castle of Good Hope is one historical building that could access the fund in order to raise awareness about the legacy of slavery. It was here that the Dutch enslaved so many people and caused intergenerational trauma that still persists in society today. Travis Andrews, CGTN, Cape Town.